Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Sagittarius, this is your uh, weekly collective tarot reading session for you, Sagittarius. I hope you are well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, Sagittarius, this is a week ahead reading for you. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you so much for being here. Yes, viewers, if you haven't, click the bell. Click the bell now and click subscribe. And if you would like to further connect with me, Sagittarius, you know what to do. All of the details is down in the description box below. I have another channel. And if you would like to pick up more intuitive message, Sagittarius, I suggest that um, you look into the, um, the description box below. Uh, you will see our website and our website will have the uh, the details of the products, the services, the merchandise that we offer outside of the YouTube platform. Okay. Thank you, Sage, for your, for your support. Thanks for being here. Oh, you got a Wheel of Fortune. Let's see what's coming towards you. We will pick up love, career, finance, and general situationship message for you, Sagittarius. What can I get for Sagittarius, please? I've been seeing this. I've been seeing the Ten of Cups. Not in the pre-shuffle, but I just... I just had a feeling that I'm going to get the Ten of Cups today. I mean, just now. Sometimes I'm surprising myself how intuitive I am. Yeah. We have the full moon today, so it's time for you to contemplate and release and start a new page of your amazing life, Sagittarius, okay? Let's look into your overall energy. What is the overall energy for Sagittarius, please? King of Swords. Someone has this one. Yeah, okay, one more. Page of Swords, okay. Um, overall energy, you're stepping, you're stepping into a week, okay? Um, you're stepping into a cycle. You're stepping into this week, 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 yeah, week. Um, the King of Swords, I don't think this is you. I'm kind of getting like this week. There is a getting back into an idea or getting back into your system. Okay. Let's look at your chart, Sagittarius. Um, so yesterday, Saturday, Pluto gets back into direct ending a five month retrograde. Oh, that's why. That's probably why. Um, if you if you felt like the last five months it's been slow you've been a little bit you know um i would say you've been a little bit complacent you have not been as aggressive you are as aggressive as competitive you are sagittarius i feel like this week that would put an end you know I feel like in the lot in the last couple of weeks you were you're ambitious. You've got a lot of things that you want, but you haven't really put an action into that. Now, as you enter this week, you are coming to me with King of Swords. It's time to activate Page of Swords, those plans, you know. Um I feel like there's a very significant male in your life. There is a significant male in your life and you're now ready to face this male. If this is not a male, it's more of it's now like you're ready to face your fear or um, something within you, Sagittarius, that you've got to change like you need to be masculine 
and strong to handle this fear or this mail or this situation. Like, you know, you need to quickly shift your gear. I'm kind of getting like next week is the start of something, something amazing. I would say if you have been sleeping beauty in the last couple of months, October, November, I'm going forward. There's a lot of action that I'm getting in here, you know, practical action. Because the Pluto retrograde has slow flow us, you know. So that is since April 29. So right now, I feel like there's a huge backlog of ambition that you have like it's more of you're not taking an action but you're a lot of there's a lot of manifestation here so it's a fast forward energy like something will happen so fast so quick in here like even the way you speak the way you react the way you talk you're multitasking you know i'm really picking up you're gonna multitask you're going to shift your gear you know there is a lot of start getting proactive in the next couple of three months. As, as we say goodbye to 2022, let me just close this door. So you are waking up from, yeah, there's a lot of being proactive in here. Um, there's a lot of, you know, speeding forward for the next seven months. Like I'm kind of getting, cause, okay, sorry guys, I'm already in here. So, now Pluto is out of retrograde. I feel like um, things will start to pick up for you. Action, okay? Because in the past you were you were manifesting, you were creating your ambition, but you haven't put forward an action to that. So um, in the next two to three weeks, up until the end of this year, I'm seeing like a seven months trajectory, and you will be start to commanding the top of your money like you would start to move and be inspired because you want money okay with the devil card the combination of the devil card and the chariot card you want to multitask you want to do not just one at a time like multitask you won't accept you know two of swords in terms of i'm kind of getting like I'm getting a very strong vibe that in terms of processing tasks, in terms of selling, in terms of business, in terms of productivity, planning, business for some of you guys, multitasking, whatever you can finish today, you will finish that. You won't sleep until it's, it's, it's not done, you know, multitasking in your main drive is sweet money. Somehow there is, somehow I'm picking up that you want, like with the devil card, the two of swords, you won't stop until you get something, Sagittarius. You know, it's more of, okay, I want that car. I won't stop working until I get that. I want that body. I won't start working out until I get that. So it would be different from each one of you, but I'm seeing like a seven month trajectory. You you will put a plan into something and you won't stop until you get it. Sagittarius, like two of swords. You won't even accept a failure. Like I don't want to fail. Boom, boom, boom. The devil card. You're so addicted doing it because it's going to produce money. Not this, Not just addictive, but fun. Like you're all pumped up. Like you have drink lots of coffee you might be a little bit tired but coffee you know you're inspired to do something you know because it's going to generate you money it's going to generate you something good something great like your main inspiration like you're quite you're addicted addictive to working because it's going to get you the job sorry you're you're somehow I'm so addicted to doing this because if I get this, I'll be beautiful. I'll have an abs. I'll have money so that I can travel. I can buy this. I can help my family. I can, you know, there's something about working hard because you want something and you're doing it very fast. No stopping. And I feel like this is because, you know, of the retrograde, retrograde, 
you've been slow track recently slow now it's gonna be moving fast two of swords so good on you I'm, I'm seeing seven months of you some sort of you're going to change the path you're gonna speed it up if normally a person would get it in a year you want to get it in seven months like you want to you want to get it as soon as possible yeah <laughs> You're, you're going to break the record, breaking record kind of energy. No, 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 no. Someone tells you, you have to do it in three months. No, one month only. Because you know your capacity, you know your strength. And you are super duper confident. The devil card, it looks very sexy. You're going to use all of your wit, your charm, not just your skills. You're gifted already. You're smart. You've got other talents that will allow you you know, to breaking record in here. What Sagittarius, what, what Sagittarius wants, Sagittarius gets. Okay, that, that's quite crazy, mad, but great result, Sagittarius, okay? And I feel like after this, you, you would rest. But there's something that you're going to be able to create. You're going to be able to do. You're unstoppable and you want an instant result. An amazing result okay not just a result some typical result you know like quality above and beyond so whatever this is it feels good really looks good you know now um, what else is coming towards you what 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 else message you know we have for you this week this is now emotional satisfaction you might be shifting gear to a point where I'm going to focus this. I'm going to focus on this. I've been slacking off when it comes to my career, when it comes to my business, when it comes to this, you know. And because you've been busy, you, you're going to put a lot of energy towards this. It could be career. It could be travel. It could be business. Could be creativity, could be project, it could be also wellness and fitness, but there's something of a hobby or something will distract you from personal affairs. Because Ten of Cups, the hangman, like your friends, your colleagues, your lovers, your relational, your relationship, you know, your your personal affairs, your personal relationship. Somehow I feel like they will notice that you're kind of missing in action because you're busy building something. You're building a brand, definitely. You are uh, branding or there's some sort of business model that you are trying to create to, to create in here. Or it's a feeling, Sagittarius, where, okay, in the past, your autopilot, 8 to 5, do this, 8 to... No, that would change. That would change. The way you look at 24 by 7, okay, when I wake up, I go to the gym, I go breakfast. No, I have to add another task because I still have one to two hours of free time. So you will utilize and maximize every minute of every time you have to earn, to be productive, to construct, to create. Seven months, trajectory. You're going to build your own brand here. There is a mod. There's something in here that you're shifting. You're very, very determined and very disciplined. Strongly. Yeah. I'm really getting like you want money, productivity, fame, success in here. That Ten of Cups, you would somehow set aside the personal stuff. Like, okay, if your focus was love in the past... That would change it would be in the past if it was honey money money fame productivity investment so there's so much focus on this that you might somehow segue or put it you know put the personal affair now as you navigate with this busy bee oh see follow up your friends your special person your family they will ask for you so you would randomly receive calls and texts. And in that text and in that calls, you would notice that you're being like someone is kind of, you know, 
Ten of Cups, Page of Swords. Someone is going to message you and they will tell you that, oh, maybe you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Or maybe you have someone special. Someone is nosy. You forget about me because you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Or you have a new friend. Or most of your... Next week, you won't have time for this. I'm seeing a lot of follow-up calls from you, from, from them outside. They will, you'll get a lot of follow-ups. You've been attending a lot of invites in the past. You've been socially active and interactive. Now, when you go to this energy, like you're going to be putting yourself in do not disturb mode, you know, but the sign is invisible. You actually do not disturb mode, but they could not see the do not disturb mode. So you, if you've been socially active, you have created, created a social activity in the past. When you, you know, kind of slow down with a socially active a lot of people will miss you. Your lovers, your friends, your family. They will check on you. Random messages. Hey, how's it going? What's up? You forget about me. You don't love me. Things like that. It's a joke. Half meant. But it's like, ooh. Why am I getting this repetitive message? You would know. It's like, why do, I, why do people comment about me not catching up with them or not replying, not responding? It's not my intention, yeah. You just want to be rich and famous. You're just creating a new life for yourself while they want you, you know. So I'm seeing here a lot of follow-ups from the externals. You hear lovers, friends, family. They will know that you're busy. You're building. And they miss you. Yeah, two of cups. So... You know, it's ironic because you might get a relationship while you build your own brand. While you're so busy building something for yourself, whatever this is, that is where you're going to get the relationship. That is where the important relationship, the important personal relationship will come into play. Because October, November, December is like a, a very festive, you know, there's a lot of festivity and I find October, November, December is like family and friends. Whoever will stay and stick around or be in touch with you October, November, December, they're all significant, significant others. So I am predicting you will have new friends. You will, the strong alliance that you have, they will return and they will be connected. And you're not, and you're not available because you're making money. You will also be able to reconcile, fully reconcile with someone. You know, it's a feeling of you've been hating this person or bitter, but they still come around. And then your mind switch into money. And for some reason, you just drop all of the darkness and you gave them a chance and it click. You know, it's like, ooh, why did I reconcile with this? Why do I feel like I don't have any more pain or grudge or hurt? Ah, because my mind is all set up with this business, with money. Like your eyes is like dollar sign. You know, it makes you move on from a past because of money or productivity or fame. Or something to do, something rewarding, let's put it that way. Something rewarding, something mini meaningful. Just to share, Sagittarius, I find it, I find myself more and more successful. Or I find myself earn more money when I actually do not want where it's more of what I'm trying to say is that I remember when I was manifesting I want a life or a business or a lifestyle that I could wake up anytime I want and I could still earn the same money you know and I got this blessing this YouTube channel my my inspiration wasn't money it's just that I just want to wake up any time of the day. You know, this reading, there's something special that you would like to do in your life. You want to create your own brand. You want to, you just want this thing in the universe, keep giving you more. So you have some talent and skills and influence that you, you could earn and you could help. Or it's not. Somehow it's not tied up to money, but it's more of, I want to feel successful. And sometimes 
success is converted into how much money you get sometimes my opinion so something tells me that while you're building this amazing life you know brand business a shift of career something personal something that is fulfilling to you you know um something professional as well for some of you guys that is where you get the relationship when you're not too focused on relationship that is where you get the relationship you're too focused on this and they're too focused of you <laughs> two of cups so expect that in the next two weeks you know you'll start to get build up intention from people missing you you know because the vibe I'm getting in here when it comes to personal affair and relationship is you let go of control because all of your energy is into this. You let go of this and they're into you. Hermit card. So you're going to reflect. You know, your mind is full of king of swords. I'm seeing you. I'm seeing your mind full of plans. Full of information. You might have... It's more of a reminder because this is the, the hermit card. This is the king of swords. So because of the amount of, because of the things that you want to achieve in a short period of time, or you're probably super duper excited that you might have overthinking, not overthinking, thinking. It's more of you, you could be very tired thinking of something. It's, it's more of you're overloaded with information. So, and if whatever you're creating, if it's connected to creativity, so take the time to detach from all of the information that you are processing. There's an overload of information that you might get into in the next couple of weeks. And if that's the case, walk outside, go outside, walk under the sun, in the nature, close to the beach, ground your energy. So you won't lose your focus because this is something really, this is like a breaking news. I want to be famous. You will set yourself on fire and you will get that. And at the same time, like you're, you're a dragon that is sleeping. Somebody wake you up. And the dragon is now working hard getting this. And at the same time, the dragon is missing. Is missing. You're missing by your friends. Someone miss you. And then four of wands. Look at that. You know, four of wands. You get you get the life that you want, the productivity. You get the honey and the money. So you get the life that you want. Just don't forget to overload yourself. I'm kind of getting like a beautiful seven to eight months for you, Sagittarius. It's so funny when you don't focus on this relationship or new love, that is where they focus on you. And you've got two of wands. You might get engaged, you know. And um, this is what I have for you, Sag. Thank you so much. And um, don't forget to check out the website, the products, the services, the merchandise is in there. Don't forget to follow me on the other channel. Um, we will be putting the next 24 hours channel. We will be putting uploading videos in there midweek, urgent messages. So hopefully I see you there, Sagittarius. Thank you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.